Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 27, Nasdaq off 44, S&P's down 23, gold, gold contract down a dollar 10, trading at 16.33 an ounce. We have silver up 24 cents, $18.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 43 cents, $85.98 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 20 ticks, trading 109.12. The 30 year off a point and a half at 120.14. The 10 year, folks. Uh, let me just see this. I believe we're talking about 4.4 uh, right now. That's like 4.2. 4.2%. Amazing. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 146 ticks. Now, yeah, look at this, folks. This is so cool. It's unbelievable. If you heard me just do the update, right? I'm talking about the axe, uh, how just King Dollar can just move a little bit. Now, watch this. Yeah, I, I got to put this up here because King Dollar only moved 40 ticks. 40 ticks, okay, since when I did the update and right now, and the E-mini, let's see, the E-mini just moved, I believe it moved like eight points on 40 ticks. Let me just see this. This is, this is like unbelievable, man. It did. So it just, 67, oh my God, no, it moved more than that. Oh, here it is right there. 68, you moved 20 points. It, so look at this, look at this. This is crazy, man. It's not crazy, it's good. You want, you want to get this correlation because the correlation is so direct, it's unbelievable. Look at this. Unbelievable. So what that's saying, by the way, folks, is this. Is that, and I'm going to bring an article up. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring it up right now because check this out. The, let me pull this up here for a second. Nope, I don't want that one. Where are we going? Okay, let me get another one of this. Because when you see this, this is pretty cool. No, I don't... There we go. Okay, so check this out. There's a big hedge fund conference going on right now. And here it is right here. So listen to this. This is, the, you have all these dudes, the C4K investor conference is going on right now. So you get all these big dudes there. Well, uh, I'm t I, I believe this is a person's name, Bo Boss, Bose Weinstein. Um, he is from Saba Capital. And then you're going to get, uh, so he's speaking right now, right? And you know what he said here? Here's a quote of his, okay? This is, this is such a cool quote for, for, for us, okay? Technicals are the most dominant change in the market compared with the last few years, Weinstein says. Weinstein says he sees an incredible shift away from fundamentals to technicals. We're living in a technical market, and traders who are living in a fundamental world will have to change their playbook. This is, it's, it, you know, listen, I'm, you know, talking to the choir, and I, I know that, uh, the chorus, whatever, how that goes, but it, it really is intriguing. And what does happen, folks, is that when you are in markets that are highly volatile, okay, um, technicals, I've seen technicals always take over in highly volatile markets. That's, that's the real bottom line. It's just, that's, that's what happens, man, and it happens in spades. So let's take a look at these markets, all right? So if we take a look at the SPY first, what do you have happening? Well, here, let's do this. I got John from Philly. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, John. Good, good afternoon to you, sir. How you doing, man? I'm doing very well. I just have to contribute one or two details that dovetail right into what you're talking about now. Just to bring it to your attention so you can elaborate for the benefit of your listeners. Thank you. Tom, on that E-mini S&P, the ESZ2, yep. uh, we've come down, we pulled back. You just mentioned how it just popped a bit. But interestingly enough, that E-mini S&P has made lows in the past, what, six, seven days down at uh, 3590? That was last Friday. 
and 3502, which was that Thursday morning after the CPI, uh, or Wednesday yes. morning, I forget which. Yep. Anyway, based upon those two lows uh, and using your calculation technique of confluence yep. with those two lows, confluence support is in a tight range, 3672 to 3662. The low 30 minutes ago was 3667 right in the middle of that range. So we've come down, we've tested Confluence. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to hang up, uh, having told you that, but ask you now that we've hit Confluence in that 72 to 62 range with the 67 low, uh, can you just share with us if you can see any prospect for this rallying away from here? So, uh, Tom, thanks for all you do, and I hope that was of some interest to you. It was huge, John, and thank you, and thank you from the, the, all the listeners, too, man. So as John was doing that, folks, I put the confluence up, and you can see it, man. It's in spades. It's, 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 it's literally in spades. So what confluence is, folks, I, you, you, take, you take the trend, the full trend. You take the low of one, the low of the other. That's what it did. One, so it, it's... it's in between a point three eight two and a six one eight, and you can see that's it right there. Those those line, those little green lines right there. That's it. And you can see it. It bounced off it beyond belief. Um, now let's get a little bit closer. Let's we'll get closer in here and take a look at this. So there we go. So first, you know, bottom line. What we got to do now? We got to make it inside. Let's see, thirty six seventy six. We did okay. That bottom line. Next move is. Yeah, we're going, man. That's telling me that this is going to try to run into the close again. You know, I don't, I don't know if we're going to run to the high, but it wants to run into the close. And, you know, the, the, it, the way this is, so let, let me bring up the spy for a second, because yeah, I'll bring up the spy as soon as we get back, because it's, it's really wild here, kind of where we're at, coming into an option expiration. And what does happen now, folks, is that uh, there's so many, you know, option expiration is every week now. And, you know, everyone's trading options, man. That's the bottom line, okay? You got pros trading options. You got retail trading options. It's, you know, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a monster market. It's a liquid market. And options now are as liquid as uh, trading ETFs. Dow, Dow Industrials down 52. NASDAQ off 51. S&P's down uh, 24. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.